watching West Hartford Community Television. You're watching West Hartford Community Television. You're watching West Hartford Community Television. Yay! Wonderful day in the neighborhood. Wonderful day in the neighborhood. Wonderful day in the neighborhood. And nobody can deny. Thank you so much. Hello, boys and girls. Glad you all came today. Guess what our topic will be for today? What? Say caring, caring and, sharing. and sharing and giving. And giving. We, care, we care, we share, we share and, we give and we give because we love everyone. Because we love everyone. everyone is welcome in Mr. Pop's neighborhood. Is that correct? Yes. We don't care what you look like. We don't care, right? Yes. What your race is, what your culture is, right? Yes. We believe that everybody is what? Equal. And equal. equal. And everybody's somebody, right? Yes. I want one of you all to volunteer by telling me what's your definition of caring? My definition of caring is when you show someone love. My definition of caring is when you help somebody when they need it. My definition of caring is when you are just around for somebody when they need your help and when you're just always there for them when they're down. Do you all know the best definition of caring? No. Is when you treat someone the way you want to be treated. How do you want to be treated? Good. That's the way other people want to be treated. You all understand that? Yes. Always remember that. The way you want to be treated, that's the same way you should treat somebody else. You don't want your feelings hurt, right? No. Other people don't want their feelings hurt. Remember we talked about bullying? Yes. What's the definition of bullying? When a person's in an uncomfortable position, when a person feels uncomfortable in your presence, what's that called? Bullying. When we spoke about intimidation, we don't allow that in Mr. Pop's neighborhood, do we? No. Now let me share something with you. Caring is when you don't even look at the fact of what a person's race is, what a person's dressed like, the size they are. What matters is you have feelings, they have feelings, correct? Yes. You're concerned about your own feelings, right? Yes. So you must be concerned about other people's feelings because we know everybody has feelings, correct? Yes. And everybody has feelings that can be hurt, right? In the Mr. Pops neighborhood, we don't like to hurt feelings, right? No. So do y'all have a good example about caring? Yes. Okay. First of all, you know what we need to do? We need to thank all the people who've been very supportive of us. Let's say thank you to Attorney Dennis Hirsch. <laughs> say it. Thank you to Attorney Dennis Hirsch. Let's say thank you to Mrs. Joe Hawk, Dr. Joe Hawk. Thank you, Thank you to Dr. Dr. Hall. And we always say, and company. And company. That means everybody who works alongside of her, right? Yes. Now, guess what? We're speaking about caring and sharing. I have something that I think we ought to share with each other. Don't you all think so? Yes. Yeah. Guess what? Alicia. Will somebody hand this to Alicia and tell Alicia we're giving this because we care about you. We're giving this to you because we care about you. 
Alicia, who else you with, Alicia? Ayana? Ayana and Katie? Tell her what it is. We'd like to get up to Ayana and Katie. Speak up. Who's next? Who's next? Kiana? We're giving it to you because we care about you. Who's next? Now, we're sharing, we're sharing with the newcomers who came today. Who's next? Nice. Who's the newcomers? Crystal. Okay. Who's next? Alicia. 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 Did you get one, Alicia? No. We're getting it to you because we care about you. Now, Alicia, do you all have something to give to? Yes. What do you have? Uh, uh, Two more. Who's next? Denise. Denise? Where are you, Denise? Mm -hmm. Who would like to give this to Denise? <laughs> We're giving this to you because we care about you. One more? No. Jose, where's Jose? Where's Jose? Who would like to give this to Jose? Okay. Bring the mic. We're giving this to you because we care about you. Let's give them all a hand. Was that hard? No. Now, everyone who received something, how do you feel about that? Speak up loud. Go ahead. Why do you feel good? Why do you feel good? Because people what? Did y'all hear that? What did she say? Speak it to the mic. It's okay. Speak it to the mic. Go ahead. I feel good because people care about me. Did y'all hear that? What did she say? Now, doesn't that make you feel good about yourself also? Yes. Isn't that what it's about in Mr. Pop's neighborhood? Yes. How did that make you feel, Alicia? Thankful. Thankful. Who's next? I feel cared for. I feel good because I feel like everybody cares about me. Who's next? Crystal. Crystal? How did that make you feel? I can't hear you. Good? Now, is it caring for someone that's easy? Yes. Now, how do everybody feel about seeing somebody feel good about themselves? Happy. Happy? Yes. Proud. Proud? That's a good answer. Now, guess what? Each one teaches one, right? Do you know that has a positive reflection on other people? When people see you care and share and give, don't you know that in turn make other people want to share, care and give? Yes. That's what we're about in Mr. Pop's neighborhood? Yes. Setting, setting positive examples, correct? Yes. Don't you all want to continue setting positive examples? Yes. Now I want to ask you a question. Since last week we met, who's tell me something positive that you've done to someone else to make them feel good? I help teachers clean up their classrooms after class. 
That's a form of giving and sharing and caring. Anybody else? I help someone study for their test so they can make a good grade. Anyone I gave else? somebody a dollar for lunch so they could eat. Yesterday, I was doing my homework in my mom room with the TV on, and I was I wanted to watch the show so bad, and I kept looking up, and my mom caught me, so she told me to go in the kitchen, and I was gonna get mad, and but it was nothing to get mad over, so I just went in the kitchen did my homework because I was getting distracted. Say it again. Because I was getting distracted. Why were you getting distracted? Because I was looking at the TV when I was supposed to be doing my work. Guess what the most important thing you did? You realized that the TV was distracting you, and you made the decision to do what? Um, go to the kitchen and listen to my mother. Give me a hand, y'all. <laughs> that was positive, wasn't it? Did everybody get anything out of that session? Yes. yes. It was a combination of what? Caring. Caring. Giving. Giving. And what's the positive thing that came out of it? We got results, right? Yes. And that's what we work towards, getting positive results, right? Yes. So wasn't that positive results from each and everybody? Yes. So we have to continue doing it in Mr. Pop's neighborhood, correct? Now, I want to ask you another question. Who experienced any bullying this week or last week, or who prevented some bullying this week or last week? Go ahead. I didn't prevent bullying, but I prevented someone from fighting yesterday. How, what happened? Um, well, a girl went up to another girl and started talking junk to her and telling her that she needed to mind her business. And she started waving her hand in her face. And then the other girl went to hit her, but I held her back so that she wouldn't um, get suspended or fight. Wasn't that a prevention measure? Yes. Prevention. She prevented somebody from getting hurt, right? Yes. Somebody was going to jail. Wasn't that positive? Yes. Give her a hand. <laughs> Have anybody else witnessed bullying, prevent bullying? People get picked off for being smarter. So I stopped someone from picking on someone that was intelligent enough to get away. How did you do that? I was telling them to leave them alone. <laughs> anybody else? Is this girl and people laugh at her and stuff because she's overweight and then she does her own stuff and she's just different and people laugh at her and I just say it's not funny because what if you was like that or if that was your close friend you wouldn't want them laughing at her or something like that. Remember we talked about last week that people are under the impression that bullying is always physical putting your hands on somebody, choking somebody, hitting somebody. But when we spoke about the definition of bully, it could be verbal assault. Y'all remember that? Yes. That was verbal assault because that young girl can't help the way she looks. Am I right? Yes. But that don't give nobody a right to tease her about the way she looks, right? Yes. Everybody is what? Different. And somebody, and everybody's equal in Mr. Pop's what? Okay. Well, today, my friend Al Kwan, you know, the one that the one that you was talking to, Pop, yes. he 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 was uh he was in a lunchroom. It was a whole bunch of people in the lunchroom, and we all had like fruits and stuff and food. And he said he want and he and he started uh wanted to have food playing and started withdrawing stuff. So I told him to stop doing it so you won't get in trouble. Do you, know, do you know what you just displayed? Say leadership. Leadership. That was leadership. Leadership. You wasn't a follower. Because guess what? If you was a follower, you would have joined in with everybody else, right? Yeah. But you showed what? Leadership. Anybody else? I want to give something to the other kids. 
Did y'all hear them? Yeah. Give Jose a hand. <laughs> Say, go, Jose, go, Jose, go, Jose. We care about you, Jose. We care about you, Jose. We care about you, Jose. What do you want to give, Jose? What do you want to give? Book bag. Go ahead, Jose. Give him a hand while he's doing it, too. Share what you got in your bag. One person. Which one? All right, me. Me, Dante. Okay, where's Jose? All right, Jose is right next to me. Got black pins. Um, have a nice ruler. Guess what? Guess what? I want to thank each and every one of you all for taking time out and involving and being a part of Mr. Pop's neighborhood. It was a very, very beautiful episode today. We talked about caring, sharing, and giving. Thank you all for coming. Okay. It's a wonderful day in the neighborhood. Wonderful, wonderful day, day in the neighborhood. Wonderful day in the neighborhood. And nobody can deny. Yo, Rugavelli. What's up, Pop? Word on the streets, you ain't nice. Show them what you got. All right. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yo, let them hate on me, but I'm going to change the game. Bring the streets to the industry, I'm raising flames. I do it like a drill sergeant, major pain. Hammer strapped throwing the waist if you want to bang. But the swag is ugly, like a chupacabra. Sometimes I dress gangster, oh, I do it proper. Never broke, boy, always straight, used to dollars. Go to the mall and then I cop the newest product. Swag stupid wow, like Gucci Mane. No product for my girl, she just rock Gucci Mane. Hammer straight, shoot and bang. Fabric on the handles, hang ones that the Louis frames. Told you that I do this, man. Okay. 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 Yo, they call me Young Rugavelli. These dudes ain't ready. I go real hard, sitting on the two Pirellis. Me and my boy Pop about to bring it down. I'm back in the streets, so what you claiming now? You better go to school and get an education. The flow is so sick, I spit sick with meditation. I keep going back to back and go forwards front. You can't even messin' with the boy, I got a lot of stunts. Big chain on my neck, see this thing gleam. I'm all wavy on the streets, on the mainstream. Yup. Okay. 